<laughs> so a five-year project, um, how many hours of footage? I don't know, hundreds of hours of footage. Obviously, you'd see um, everything from 35 millimeter film in this, in this uh, project to YouTube clips. So uh, it was as big a project as we've ever worked on. Um, I did want to kind of add a note to the, to, the, um, to the mermaid story, is that it, very, very early on when Steve and I first came to, 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 um, to Dave and Hannah with this concept, Hannah said, so what about the mermaid? Like, you got all this stuff for the boys in there, where's all the stuff for the girls? And I went, ah, interesting. <laughs> It's, it takes a lot of different styles to, to reach everybody, whether it be a surfer, whether it be someone who's interested in what the celebrities are doing or kids who care about their you know, plastic bags. It, it takes all sides and as a filmmaker, it's really interesting to sit back and listen to that and sort of listen to it from the players who were involved and, and to say, hey, how do I incorporate all these very interesting people and these ideas into this film, which is sort of how Isabel got involved. Um, Isabel and I, like I didn't really know her very much until we went to Blues Fest and, uh, and we're bringing up the visual petition. And then met her when, when we came to Japan for the, um, for the paddle out and found that here was someone who could lend their celebrity in a way that was way bigger than my camera could ever do. So it, it, it's interesting to see how you can hear input from other people, whether it be about female involvement, about the mermaid, about celebrity involvement, surf rats, the whole deal. It's really, real, real interesting that way. But um, I sort of want to want to know why Isabel is here and why she sort of jumped into a project like this for uh, to help out. Why not? I, um, I think I'm thinking back how I first got on board, and I think it was um, it was at the Blues Festival. But about a couple of weeks before, my friend sent me this um, YouTube video of the footage of what was happening in Japan, and I think it's the Glumber website. Do you remember it? What's it? Do you remember the name of it? That's okay. And I I haven't ever seen footage of. Um, I'd seen a lot of animal documentary, uh, sorry, animal slaughter documentaries about how it works in slaughterhouses, and I hadn't ever seen any footage quite as <sighs> devastating as this. And I just remembered thinking, being overwhelmed with not knowing what I could do to help. And at the time, I had this audition for a film called Daybreakers, and the character in the film was was um, betrayed by a father and was really um, hurt and badly done by. And I remember trying to channel the feelings that I had after watching this this um, this footage, and and I was so emotional and so passionate, and I really tried to bring it into the scene. I ended up getting the part as well, actually, in, in the film. But then a week later, I was at this music festival and I met Dave, and they were. Hannah and Dave were doing the visual petition, and um, that was just a small way of something that I could do. And then I kept self-educating about the issue and, and wanting to be involved in just anything I could do. So I guess that's how I got on board. <laughs>